Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dytek, CTO DVS, and today I'm going to show you a password reset, re reset, reset method you may not have seen before using Hike Pro Connect. If you don't use Hike Pro Connect, now is a good time to try it. So most of you are familiar with the traditional way of a password reset. So traditionally, we'd open up SADP tool. We would select the device, select forgot password, export the file. So we put it on a desktop. We would then send that file to Hike Vision or to your authorized distributor. They would then send you a file back. So you'd input, import the file, send it back, say that one there. Type in the new password and confirm it. Click reset network password if that's applicable. Click confirm and that would update the device password. Now, sometimes that takes a bit of time depending on your distributor or Hike Vision or if it's a weekend, etc. out of hours. That can take a little bit of time. But there is another method of password reset which I'll show you via Hike Pro Connect and that uses the end user on the site to allow you to change the password. So first we're going to log into the Hike Pro Connect. Yeah couple of little things there is a lot of new functions and functionality within hike pro connect now for instance under install and config we've got remote batch configuration allows you to batch configure a lot of the devices batch arm disarm make a group arm disarm a batch of devices and on-site batch update for firmware so three really powerful additions and the health monitoring you've got the health status exception status and then the regular report that it can send to tell you what's wrong under company, you've got company information, co-branding, employee, rolling permissions and operation log. And then your service is what you've currently got. So for instance, health monitoring, employee account add-on, cloud attendance, people counting, temperature screening. Now, going back to on-site configuration, similar process, we'll let the device populate now. So I can actually choose a device. So for instance, if I wanted, to reset this recorder, password reset, export it, import file password. So I can do the same as SADP does effectively. So very simple and straightforward on site using ProConnect. So you don't need to use SADP if you are using ProConnect to do your configuration, but you're required to be on the same site or the same LAN effectively. So if I'm not on a site, I can go to customer site, choose a site, and I can password reset one of my recorders. So a very simple way of doing this, right click on the dots and then reset admin password. I've got two methods, reset password offsite or reset password onsite. Onsite requires you to be in the same LAN. So this PC plus the device in the same LAN. The reset password offsite basically sends a message to the end user. So when they open up Hike Connect, they get a notification that they allow you to update the device password. So I'm gonna select reset password offsite. So it's basically the application reset device is sent valid for 24 hours. Ask the site owner to reset the password on Hike Connect mobile client in time. So, okay. So basically what happens now is under service notifications here, I'll have a device password reset. So I can select that. So that's the latest one. So select it and it says, reset device password at the bottom so you select that type the password that you want the device to be reset with password reset successful so it comes up saying it's actually successful and complete so using the end user on the site i'm now able to update the device password now you do need to tell them what that password is so if i now open up a web browser and open up the device it is on the same site but the purposes of demonstration. So the old password doesn't work. It's actually locked me out now or from the old one. If I type in my new one, which the end user kindly put in for me, click login and it's now updated. So that is a very simple way of doing an off-site password reset where the device is added to my ProConnect. You forgot on the device password for some reason, but you desperately need to gain access to it. It enables me, or you need to change it for security purposes. I can notify the end user, can then accept on their app, on their Hike Connect app, 
type in that password for you and you can simply gain access to the device or you can do an on-site password reset so now we're into the device I could also choose an on-site one I'm not in the same LAN as it but effectively if I was on the same network I could do that as an on-site one and then the end user wouldn't be notified so it's a very simple process and gives some flexibility so now you know how password resets can be used either via SADP Pro Connect or even via the end user that does give you some flexibility. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Have a great day and we'll see you next week for another how-to video. Thank you, everybody. Actually, before I move on, there are a lot of new tools as well. So search for important firmware updates, that's always a good one. Enter your device serial number and it'll tell you the firmware that's applicable to it. Disk calculator, always a good one. NVR channel calculator, focal length calculator, so by focal length or object distance, so I can say um, object distance 50 meters, width 1 meter, and it tells you what lens size is recommended. And then bandwidth calculator. So nice and simple tools that allow you to do your day-to-day -day workings. Now back to the password recess. <laughs>